Hello my beautiful Sagittarius friends. How are you today? Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna and this is a reading, a love reading for the month of December. So let's see what the overall energy is for you. So let's see. Welcome to the channel if you're new. If, um, if you're not, welcome back. We have wisdom. All right, Sagittarius, you are being called upon to use your wisdom and love at this time. Change, okay. The Thunder Moon. So there's a lot of change afoot right now for you. And happy birthday. I just really want to wish all of you a happy birthday if you haven't caught another video. So let's see. Impatience. Look at that. Well, Sagittarius, you're ruled by the planet Jupiter. So you have a tendency to be pretty pretty sweet people overall very energetic so let's see what we have here now for the overall energy in your love reading that you and your person of interest are bringing in i read this like love relationship between two people um who know each other new new love is when you don't know each other it's brand new all right so oops excuse me bottom of the deck the energy is the hanged man okay so there's something you're looking at things from a different perspective the mutual energy in the recent past between you and a loved one sagittarius is a five of cups disappointment you know one of you both of you feel like the other one owes you an apology or things just aren't working out it's a real sense of sadness it is Scorpio energy, feeling like there's an ending. But whenever we have the Five of Cups, there are still two cups standing, but we're focused negatively on the three that have spilled. The mutual energy currently is Gemini energy, all up in your head, losing sleep. This is mutual. Both of you are doing this. So, it, you know, it's an energy that really speaks to remorse, regret, sleepless nights, feeling very unhappy, very ungrounded. There's a lot of change going on, and you do have to be wise. Spirit is calling on your, your higher self at this time, and sad, you rule the ninth house of higher level thinking. We have the Page of Wands. Throwing caution to the winds is how your person feels that you have to move at this time in the relationship. They really definitely want to come back in. They want to talk to you. This is about communication. We see your person wanting to tell you something, and that is your energy, Sag. This is Pisces energy. How they view you. They view you as someone who may be letting them go. That is Scorpio energy. Your person feels very much that you just might not deem them to be the person for you. How they feel in their heart space for pentacles they're holding back they feel possessive though when you look at this card in their heart space they're covering their hand their hand is over their heart that's how they feel about you they're not telling you anything they're keeping things to themselves but they're holding on to what they value most their heart and it is highly engaged with you how they view the two of you going forward nice energy Sagittarius you have Aquarius energy this is a card of healing enlightenment it's the card that arrives after a tower moment after a time when the relationship has been uh, very difficult this is a card of healing but it's hopes and dreams for love coming true it's Aquarius and it's enlightenment your person feels very much that you are the star in their lives the mutual energy that's hidden between the two of you is the two of swords it looks like you're not speaking right now you're very bothered you're fussing you, you just don't see something very clearly something is being hidden from you or you're not willing to face something and both of you are in that energy spirit's recommendation for you sagittarius is oh manifestation that's beautiful this is the card of Taurus it's Venus it's all about beauty and love and everything that's pleasurable and sensual it is a card that says that you may not find this love so easily uh, if you step outside this relationship that you know spirit is suggesting the advice from spirit is that you try to manifest this and work on whatever it is that's been troubling you the outcome at this time short term five of wands so what i'm seeing here is that 
it looks like at least one of you might be keeping your options open and not really telling the other person. Sagittarius, this is Leo energy. It's also conflict, low level, kind of harmless, but egotistical, maybe arguments. It looks as though you don't see eye to eye on things. So let's clarify this and get into the reading and really see what this is about. Because it looks like the two of you really care about each other. With that five of cups, you don't get that. You don't get that level of sadness, remorse, regret with the nine of swords unless you have an awfully strong desire to make this work. So why is the hanged man energy here for Sagittarius? Heart of cups, there we go. The queen of cups energy. Somebody's definitely in love. Let's see what your energy is versus your person's energy. Your energy with the Queen of Cups is Innocence of Swords. Oh, you're keeping close eye. You're keeping a close eye on your person. You're watching them carefully to see if they're declaring that they're in relationship. Your person feels overwhelmed and burdened. Uh, they feel like there's a burden that they have to release at this time. So there may be some sort of impediment. There may be competition. There may be, may be a wife, a girlfriend. There may be something else going on in this relationship that is yet to be revealed. But the hanged man says that you're taking time out. Six of Wands, Leo Energy. Both of you want a victory in this relationship. You're both very much geared to... You know, winning, that's a card of victory. Winner, winner, chicken dinner is what most of us call that card. It speaks to the fact that both of you want this win in love with each other. The star card, there we go. The star card again, healing energy. You know, it's the energy of being a rock star in one another's lives. For some of you, for somebody out there, you may also even be in the limelight, in the public eye. You may be a star in your own right, but both of you look like you hold a position that's very popular, very desirable. You know, everybody wants both of you. Now, Sagittarius, we have you in your reading. Look at that. Wheel of Fortune. It's turning in your favor. So whatever sadness or loss or grief or difficulty that's been going on, the wheel is turning in your favor. You know, you're going to stay cool, calm, and collected. The Spirit of Pentacles is a King of Pentacles energy. There is a feeling that somebody in this relationship is very self-centered in terms of what they own, what they have. You know, it's a, it's a desire to not have anything taken away from you, you know, that's, that's yours. So it's sort of like not necessarily wanting to merge your assets. If you both are coming to this relationship with a substantial level of financial comfort or even one or the other of you, it looks as though there's worry or concern about what that could mean for your joint finances. The three of coins, it looks like you've worked it together. That's collaboration. That's the, honey, let's go to buy the paint for the new bedroom. What are we gonna do? It's a great energy. Six of coins, also being willing to give to the relationship. So both of you have a strong desire to make this work. Both of you feel as though there is something going on here, though, that may make it very difficult. It will take wisdom, patience, and change. The sage energy is the energy that your person sees the potential for Hierophant energy. They see you as a potential love partner, marriage partner. Oh, look at this. We have the Ace of Cups, the card of love. Your person wants to offer you love, but before they can do that, they have to leave something else behind. So that makes sense with the Ten of Wands here, the Page of Swords. It looks as though your person feels as though they need to leave something behind. What is it that, that they need, need to leave behind? Juggling too. Okay, competition. Whenever we get the Two of Coins, Five of Wands... It looks as though you may be making an ultimatum, Sagittarius, also saying that unless they release someone else, you're not interested. The Spirit of Wands, Leo Energy. So your person very much wants to do the right thing. 
The justice and the judgment card together may mean that one of you are, are married. Sagittarius, that may be you. The justice card is balancing things out. It's the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. The judgment card is oftentimes the judgment of divorce. The justice card is oftentimes the filing of the paperwork. So you may be in you, and the death card. Look at that. So basically, we well, have two Scorpio energies, the death card and the judgment. So something has to end before something else can begin. Patience, change, and again, that wisdom. Wow. I don't think this was something that either of you counted on. I feel as though you came together very unexpectedly. It looks like there's a lot of deep feelings and intent here. We have the universe card, which is a world card. So your person is trying to hold on to their money for, you know, basically it looks like, I don't know which of you could be getting a divorce or going through some sort of legal separation. Even if you live together with somebody, you might have bought something with them. You know, it can be just leaving a long-term relationship, but it does look like, a, you know, something's closing out. Somebody's trying to hang on to their money, to their wealth, their abundance. Oh, look at that. The Twin Flame card, number 22. The only deck of cards that I have that has a number 22 in it. Right after the World card, this is the 1111. Love it. We'll probably see the Four of Wands at some point, maybe in the relationship reading. But that is your person feeling in their heart space that you are the only one for them. The Nine of Wands, they have five, Nine of Wands, not Knight. Uh, the Nine of Wands is fire in their belly for the relationship. Seven of Swords, keeping some secrets from you, though. The Magician card, they're trying to manifest you. And the Movement of Swords is Gemini Energy. They're coming in very quickly to give you good news. Nice. The Nine of Cups, Celebratory Energy, and the Spirit of Swords. So you have the, the um, Knight of Swords, the Spirit of Swords, and we have the Emperor. So there's a lot of powerful energy. This also could mean that you have a lot of options because we have lots of kings. We have the King of Cups. We have the King of um, Swords. We have the Emperor, the Movement of Wands. A lot of energy here. So your person views the situation with you is that they have to lock it down. They have to work on it because you have all these options. These are your options. <laughs> Sagittarius, you are known as a bachelor of the Zodiac. So it does show that your person's very sort of intimidated by all the options you have. The hanged man energy says that the thing that they're trying to ignore is the fact that they can't really corral you. They're high priestess energy. Your person's gone very quiet, but this is mutual energy. Both of you are in this energy of the Two of Swords, not wanting to deal with something, you know, staying quiet. Doesn't look like you're speaking at the moment. The hanged man trying to look. There we go, the hanged man twice. You know, we have the hanged man, hanged man trying to uh, figure things out, trying to look at things from a different perspective. So what is the energy here for the Empress? Why is it here? Why is Spirit telling you that this is a divine relationship? Nine of Swords. Well, you're all up in your head. So Spirit is saying, don't be up in your head. You know, just evaluate based on what's real. Look at that Leo energy. Spirit is really saying, you have Leo energy here twice. So, and a lot of Scorpio energy, and you have Leo energy here. But what we see with the Strength card is we see the energy that um, you have the strength, the fire in your belly to do this. But the Five of Wands, not settling into the relationship, feels like a betrayal in which somebody feels. Both of you feel this, though. This is your Outcome card, and that takes both of you to create the outcome. Ten of Swords, something. Ah, there we go. Okay. So what we're seeing now is a third party situation makes perfect sense because we have the Ten of Swords in ending, the Death card, competition, the, the uh, Justice card, just incredibly um, very clear cut energy here. 
that a burden has to be given up, that something has ended. We have both tens here, the Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands, the Three of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, a classic indicator that there's been a third party situation, that something has to change. And the Sun card is your outcome to quote unquote the competition. Look at that happiness, joyfulness, the happiest card in the deck. So it looks like for many of you Sagittarius, this this change has really taken patience. It's been a little bit, uh, you know, it's taken a lot of fortitude on your part, but what a gorgeous reading for you. So Sagittarius, I hope you enjoy the rest of the holiday. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back and tell me where you're from. Thanks so much. Bye-bye, guys.